Oh. Wow. Yep. This is fun to play volleyball on. Wow. I play, we play recreational volleyball on this. It's fantastic. <laughs> I've run around this room so many times. I'm fine. This is our uh, third year in operation with this building. I don't know how many acres of wood there is, but there's a, it's a large area. We can have, uh, some people claim that we have spring football here in Great Bend. You know, if our, the uh, roof was a little higher, we could probably get away with that, but uh, we do have uh, football practice in here. We're, we're able to get two teams in here, and, and we can do uh, some, some of the activities. But, uh, one thing that uh, has changed is physical education. Uh, we had one gym back when you were in school. We had one gym three years ago. We had three classes in there with uh, over 100 students in there, and it, was, it really wasn't very safe. Uh, all the physical education classes are in here now. We can, we can, uh, there's drop-down nets, drop-down volleyball courts. We can do a lot of different things in here, so it's, it's been wonderful. Uh, with practice, I know when we were talking about uh, back in 1970, girls didn't have sports. Yeah. But now we have, uh, right now in the fall, we have six sports. In the winter, we have five sports. And in the spring, we have seven sports. So there's uh, there's almost 20 sports that our kids participate in. We used to practice uh, before school, after school, and, and at night with the one gym. Now we can practice everybody at the same time. We can move our freshman class, we can practice with JV varsity, we can do a lot of things that, that help us uh, with our sports. We do have, uh, I don't know if you were in the bathrooms last night, but there's 14 stalls for the ladies and probably 14, at least 14 for the, the guys. And that probably doesn't mean much to you, but if you knew uh, how it was before, uh, we didn't have much space, you know, so there's always a long line at the bathrooms. We have two, uh, Two locker rooms, men and, and women's. We have a new uh, wrestling room that I'll show you. Uh, the only problem that we have with this facility is uh, the portable, so-called portable bleachers aren't portable. It takes about six people to move them and it, it takes a lot of work to move them. There's not quite enough space between the courts, so when we have uh, multiple games at the same time, it does create a few issues. But uh, I'm not complaining. We're very happy to have it. We use this all the time. We have the rec center comes in here uh, at least twice a week, sometimes three times a week. The most popular thing for them is adult volleyball. And some of you might uh, be involved with that. There's, I don't know how many teams, 50 teams maybe that do that. There's, a, there's quite a few. So we use it, the, the public gets to use this. We have outside teams that use it to practice. And then our, uh, of course our kids do too. It's a skill building and it was done uh, at a time when, when contractors were hungry for, uh, for work. We got, uh, we got a lot for our money for this one. Very pleased with it. It's something we've needed for a long time. Questions on that? I'll open up the wrestling room and I'll show you that. Uh, it's been about an hour. I know that you have things that you have to do. I'm, I'm running a uh, JV volleyball tournament. I've got a little kids football that I'm doing, and, but I'm glad I had a chance to, to do this with you guys. Uh, Thank you. Thank you. What do they do with the swimming pool area? Is that underneath the stadium? Oh, I forgot to show you that. Yeah. That's, uh, that's the band room. Oh. That's the band room now. <laughs> and I'll be glad to show that to you before. Yeah, that would be okay. 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 I'll show you that before you leave.